Let's do something else with contours now that I think you'll find really useful and make your map look really quite fascinating and quite interesting. And that is we're going to use something called a contour with barriers tool. Now let's do a search. So I'm going to go over here to Windows and I'm going to do a search. Let's look for a tool and we'll search for contour with barriers. I see two things there. I'm not doing anything with 3D right now, so I'm just going to go to Contour with Barriers Spatial Analyst. Let's just go ahead and pull up that tool. So what I'm going to do here is my input raster. That's going to be my DEM. So let me find my DEM. It's called DEMUTM in my case. Remember, this is a, a tool that lets you produce contours from anything. So just like any tool, it's important to realize what you're starting with and what you want to move towards. So I want, I want to start with my DEM. Now remember, you can contour anything. You can contour a set of pH values in soils or water or population counts or counts of litter or graffiti, whatever. It doesn't have to be elevation, but in this case it's elevation. I'm going to make some contours from that using the Contour with Barriers tool. Now, unlike the regular contour tool, the contour with barriers lets you do the following. Now, I don't have any input barrier features. We're not using it for, for the barrier features. What we're, go we're going to use it for, though, is an index contour, which is typically done on, for example, USGS topographic maps. Make those index contours, or every X contour, like every fifth contour, really stand out. Now down here under base contour, I'm going to leave that at zero. My contour interval I'm going to make a five. Five meters. It's important to realize what units your vertical elevations are in, or your data, of course. Units are always important. In my case, it's meters above sea level. I'm going to make the contour interval of a five meter interval. My index contour interval, I'm going to make a every fifth. So I'm going to have a 25 meter index contour interval. That way I'm going to simulate what USGS topographic maps typically do. In, in other words, every fifth contour, contour I'm going to symbolize a bit differently. And that way my readers will really be able to interpret my map uh, quite well. My explicit contour values, I'm going to leave that alone. And I'm going to scroll down here to see if there's anything else I need. No. So I'm just going to go ahead and say OK here. And it's going to create my indexed contours. OK. It's done. And I've gone over here to geoprocessing and looked at results. So this pane you see on the left here, this left pane is my results. It's, I can see that my contour with barriers shapefile, because I did not save it as a feature class inside a geodatabase, I made a separate file called a shapefile. It is, it's created, no errors there. Great. And it's called contour with barriers. Let's go ahead and take a look at that. Now let's compare the contour this is just with the regular contour tool. Notice it's got a contour uh, value, and it's 5 meters, just like the one I just created. However, let's take a look at the attribute tab table for the contour with barriers. And now let's go ahead and take a look at that other one as well. OK, so we've got two things in here. The contour with barriers, note that it puts a type in there. And it's got a 2 for all the ones that I said, this is going to be the index contour. So it made another field called type. Fantastic. Whereas the original contour tool did not create a type field. So what I can do is, let's get a little bit more real estate here and get rid of this results window and also the search window. What I can do is, since I have my type in there, I can symbolize these differently. So let's go ahead and symbolize this in the Symbology tab. Let's go over here to Unique Values. And notice that I've got that type field in here, and Add All Values. So in the regular number ones, I'm going to make that a brown thin line. OK. And let's go ahead and do the same thing with the same color for the two values, but I'm going to thickerize that. I'm going to make that thicker. And so now I've got the ones and the twos. Let's just try that and see what that looks like. Ah, very nice. So now, as you can see, I've got every fifth contour symbolized differently. And I've also got the shading behind it. I've got the shaded relief here. Let's take the look the shading, shaded relief off so you can see a little bit more detail here. But uh, I did this um, with contour with barriers. 
Now just to sum up, this contour with barriers tool, it is actually the, pur the main purpose of it was originally to be able to create contours on either side of some sort of a barrier as the name implies like some sort of a fault line running uh, uh, down through the middle you know structural surfaces dissected by some sort of fault and being able to symbolize things differently on either side of that that's what it originally is for or was built for and you can still use it for that but what we're using it for is uh, simply to create these wonderful index contours and as you can see here it is uh, a very nice thing when you put the hill shade behind it you get this really nice effect and we can vary the, the symbology I hope that was useful thanks